coming on. All right, uh, kia ora everybody, good evening, and uh, it's not such a good evening as you know, and uh, definitely um, feeling very humble right now, um, and I'm sure that a lot of you are like me and have plenty of questions that you need to, to have answered as to what's happening with this government that we are dealing with. Um, right now, as you know, um, so, as some of you are saying, is that many of you um, know that I've been saying for a month now that a second lockdown was planned. Um, as I've always uh, said as well, guys, is that, um, right, hold on a second, someone's saying I'm cutting now. Can you guys hear me okay? Um, okay, thanks guys. Yep, okay, kia ora Mac. Okay, so, so guys, as you know, we have been, um, um, we have been saying for over a month now that this lockdown was coming. We did say it would be the second week of August, and um, the intel that we get, guys, so you know, as I always say, has, um, um, it comes from patriotic New Zealanders that are in government agencies that leak information to us. I've also got military documents uh, from the CDF uh, that are restricted that pinpoint in, in March 25th that they knew that a second lockdown would be uh, was being planned and um, and also um, that uh, the military is going to be used in it. The next thing that they're going to use, use the military for is door-to-door -door knocking and testing and I've got the documentation that proves that. So this is really, really serious guys um, but what I do want you to do from day one I've said be calm, be cool, be factual and stay on solid ground. Okay, that's what, that's what you need to do guys, we need to just take a breather, we're going to do this together as a family, we are going to take a stand against this, and uh, we are going to do this the right way. We're going to save our country, but we're going to do it calmly, we're not going to take a, a knee-jerk reaction to this, we need to do this in the right way. Uh, myself and Jamie Lee Ross have just um, issued a press statement to the Press Gallery of Parliament, uh, which we're sending out um, around about now, so Jamie Lee right now is working hard on completing that and sending that out. Um, I'm also going to um, uh, approach all of the minor party leaders again to to recognise that what Advanced New Zealand, New Zealand Public Party has been saying all along um, has been correct, that um, we're dealing with a, a very hostile government and that we need to work together to, um, to defend democracy and protect our economy because as I said in my live broadcast yesterday, I met people in business here in Whangarei that are getting ready to go down, go down over the cliff and lose their homes, lose their businesses and lose their livelihoods. And this second lockdown, if it goes the way that it could go, will mean that from Auckland it will progress um, wider than that. And that's what we don't want. So tomorrow, just to clarify, in case you didn't know, tomorrow is level three uh, between the, the area um, from Wellsford in the north down to Pukakoi, uh, Bombay Hills in the south. So that's level three. Everybody, everywhere else, everybody will be in uh, level two, uh, which is which is bad enough, but I'm, I'm just as important that you know what you're dealing with there. So what I do want to say to you all is, please stay calm, uh, stay cool. Please don't take um, um, you know any unnecessary risks with yourselves, with your whānau, or getting yourselves into trouble. When it's time to protest and stand, we're going to do it together as a unit, and uh, we're going to do it across the country. No doubt that this um, that this broadcast that I'm doing right now is uh, is being watched by by government agencies. So I am aware that this is happening, and um, so we need to do this um, peacefully. We need to be aware that there will be um, um, antifa uh, leftists, uh, people that will try and, and disrupt peaceful protest, so we're going to need to come up with a strategy to deal with that as well. Um, but my thing is now for the next couple of days, let's just sit and watch, and uh, to all you Christians out there, and even to you guys that aren't Christians out there, let's pray together as a family that, um, that something, uh, something uh, positive will come out of this, but this is bang on track to what, we, uh, what we've understood um, for some time was coming down our way and I'm, and I'm sorry that I'm right as I said to Jamie Lee before when this was when we were watching the broadcast I always hope when I say these things that I'm completely wrong a month ago I was being called a conspiracy theorist well no it's not we knew that the intelligence that that we had been given 
was um, uh, was was very very good intelligence again because of the um, of the people that send us this information from government uh, um, agencies and from inside those agencies. So guys, um, calm, cool, and just make sure that you've got the things that you need to keep you um, keep yourselves um, safe and and fed and watered over the next couple of days. Um, I will be speaking to other leaders across the country that have got um, existing plans for protests already and uh, so I will be um, talking to them. Uh, we need to also figure out another means of communication because my, my belief is that they will probably uh, want to cut Facebook off to us if, we, if this is what we're planning. And just to the Facebook uh, observers, we're not planning to violate any um, community standards, we're not planning to uh, wish to incite any harm or any violence at all uh, to anyone out there. Uh, but we do need to protect our democracy in our, in our fair country and we will do this peacefully and uh, as lawfully as we can to make our point very clearly uh, and articulately and factually to this government that we do not consent to any type of full lockdown, we do not consent to the ongoing destruction of our economy and we do not consent to the destruction of democracy in our country the way that it has been under the COVID-19 health response bill. So please guys, share this message uh, um, around. Uh, we are onto it, Jamie Lee Ross and I are onto it. We will be wanting to uh, make a call out to uh, the other uh, minor party leaders to, 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 to basically take a stand with us together and get everybody across New Zealand to vote, advance New Zealand so that we can get these guys out and prevent um, uh, the blue team going in to do the same thing as well. And this is not about politicking, I don't care about any of that stuff, I'm just concerned of saving our country, saving our futures and, um, and not living in a, in a world where we're told that we've got to lock down, wear masks and, uh, and take vaccines. That's not freedom, that's not democracy and, uh, and when you examine the facts behind COVID-19, yes it is a real virus, I've never not said it is, it is a real virus, but it is a virus with lethality as uh, underlined by Stanford University of about 0.04% and uh, that's pretty much the same lethality as a, as a common cold and a common flu. One other thing too I'll, I'll say quickly before I, I sign off, the PCR test which is the, which is the test where you have a, um, a swab stuck up your nasal passage, it's, it's been uh, declared by the person who designed and manufactured, first designed and developed the PCR test is that it's, it's non-specific, a test for one HN1 um, uh, coronavirus as in the flu virus and also uh, COVID-19, it's non-specific. So even if you've got a cold or a cough or you've got a bit of the flu and it's just the normal coronavirus, if you get tested with a PCR test it won't distinguish between any of those three um, uh, viruses and that's the problem with the PCR. And, uh, we've, and that's been basically exploited all around the world now that this has major problems but you cannot get a better testimony than the person who designed this piece of hardware saying that it's not fit for purpose for uh, COVID-19 testing. So guys, stay alert, stay well and stay cool and calm, look after each other. Please make sure that um, you spread this message and I plan to do another broadcast to you first thing in the morning and with an update but be rest, rest assured that we are mobilising and um, we, we will come up with a plan that we can do together. Take care everyone, don't let anger get to you, just, just keep praying, keep, keep, you know, just chill out for now and just get ready to move when, we, when it's time to move because when we do it, we're going to do it big time and we'll do it across the country. God bless everyone, God bless New Zealand and um, let's, let's, let's be cool out there and take care. Good night and